Erica Banks, who has the hottest song out called Bust It. Bust It. Everybody is doing this challenge, the Bust It Challenge, but Erica Banks decided to take time out and throw shade at We Love Chai. Now, when the song first came out, obviously nobody knew the song, nobody was really dancing to the song. So Chai actually posted up a video back then. This is an old video with the caption that says, nobody is rapping her ish, Meg the Stallion, get your son. But now that the song is very popular and everybody's doing the challenge, Erica Banks decided to take a dig. She said, it's funny to see some of y'all who was talking ish months ago dropping that busted challenge. Y'all had a change of heart, huh? So Chai actually did drop a busted challenge video and she also responded back to Erica Banks. She said, she better enjoy her song and go on. Listen, who cares that people that were hating on you back then, that's now busted it now. That's the whole point, sis. We want these haters to give us what we deserve, respect, honey. That was a key key within. I would have laughed it off and would have been like, I heard. Period. Shy got her own platform. If she want to rep your song on her platform, why not? Who's really mad here? You're winning all the way around. I got my haters bouncing to my song. I know I'm the ish now. So let's talk about Tay and Jazz. Cause Tay posted up a video called DMing Celebrities and Jazz, her ex, was one of the people that she did DM. Now, Tay was super excited in this clip. Hey, Jazz just takes me back. But unfortunately she deleted the clip because a lot of people in the comments were saying, oh, Jazz and Tay are gonna get back together. And that's just not the case. They can still be friends, but that don't mean that they're gonna be together. I just hope everything work out. I hope they do do the collaboration. I hope they are able to be cordial once again, but are they gonna be together? We're not 100% sure. And I'm not gonna jump to conclusions and say they're gonna get back together. Just leave your comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking when it comes to that situation. But King also did the video called DMing Celebrities and he also included his ex, Neek. Now he was super excited excited and this situation is a little bit different than Tay and Jazz because King was the one that actually left and moved out of the house and he decided that he didn't want to be in a relationship so to have him now months later be excited to have Neek in his video to collab is a little bit funny it's like uh bro didn't you want to be your own individual person and now it's like you're reaching back out to your ex Neek which I told y'all in a previous video at some point he was gonna realize that he needs Neek but hey now they're deciding to do a collaboration together and King's girlfriend is in her feelings she is feeling some type of way, but this is what happened when you're at the side chick. You take a greater loss than anybody when you're messing with somebody that's in a relationship. So do I feel bad about this situation if Neek and King happen to get back together? Mm, no. But a lot of people were hitting me up in the DMs because King might have a little issue getting back with Neek because I heard word on these YouTube streets is that Neek is talking to Chaotic. Now Chaotic was featured on Love and Hip Hop and his music has been busting. So you know he got a little bit of a momentum and you know maybe Neek is feeling him but who who knows but I do know that she posted up a picture with her and her mother and he comment mother-in-law and her birthday just passed and he posted up a picture of her with a heartfelt message so I don't know it's a lot going on he liking comments he posted up mother-in-law he liking pictures I don't know what's going on with the two King might have a little bit of a competition now last night Austin was in a club with his friends and he was seen on another girl's TikTok and supporters assumed that he was cheating on his wife now there has been some evidence in the past that he was messing with other women not trying to take the six seconds kids and run with it but at the same time it's not a good look when in the past you have been accused of cheating and then you're on another girl's tiktok so a lot of supporters were dragging him and were very upset that he was on another girl's tiktok and now the girl is getting a lot of backlash as well so y'all leave y'all comments down below let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that situation but let's talk about ty from the taylor girls because she was very upset because they recently released a song called solve it and she had a lot to say in the comments when it came to that song a lot of people were saying that they didn't like the song they thought the song was a little bit over auto-tuned they were just basically giving her constructive criticism and she was i think she was just taking it the wrong way i don't really know where she was going with this but the caption said reading our comments like really we teach you y'all girls how to live stress-free but you rather us be these girls and teach you how to deep throat and bust it you chicks get what these dudes give you because you lack a teacher hashtag taylor girls hit different me and my sister being hella humble like don't even get in no for real and if a bitch do say some shit, it's because a bitch fucking says some shit, a bitch did something said something to us bitch ain't never really pop no shit. but i'm telling y'all hoes this year if you say anything to me bitch, i'm telling you what the fuck going on like we really set the motherfuckers off like i don't think i understand how big like i know y'all be thinking oh y'all just some funny bitches y'all just always talking shit. and a motherfucker can't, ain't got a motherfucking pot to piss in, but y'all always want to talk shit. Ain't nothing wrong with the motherfucking auto tune on 
on the sock. And if it is, bitch, still gon' bump that shit. So why the fuck is y'all hard steady talking shit on motherfucking shade room and all this other shit? Y'all bitches are lame. It's like, half of y'all can't even rap or sing and piss or take a fucking bad bitch. So for y'all to be fucking talking shit, it's weird. Like, just congratulate a bitch. It's 2021. How half of y'all can't even right and y'all y'all on here talking about all oh, the auto tune ain't right the auto tune don't sound right bitch, me and my sister is me and my sister gonna go to f up like two with you. or without two bitches. that's what y'all gotta understand we're going you up got, with or without got, so suck okay, my face. Like and that's what i'm trying to get y'all to understand just congratulate oh, up, sis, up. that sounded good sis uh you know congratulations if i think it sound good then it sound good if I think it sound bad, then it sound bad. I don't need you all telling me what the f sound good when half of you can't do shit right anyway. Like, you can't even go to sleep right. <laughs> Who are you mad at? I'm tired of y'all talking shit. I'm really mad? tired of y'all talking shit because we sound better than a lot of these fa your favorite fucking rappers. Bitch. We sound better than a lot of them all. All of them motherfuckers. And, and we probably got more money than all of them while y'all steady talking shit. But y'all support the bitches that can't rap, can't rhyme, can't do shit. And then y'all discredit the bitches that can rap, that got money and doing shit. This my motherfucker, this is a Picasso on the motherfucker. Honey, it's thinking that's not a car. You bitches can't even, you bitches got car notes. It seemed like Dilla Girls are not taking the constructive criticism. I heard the song. I know where they were going with the song. I also get what the fans are saying as well. So I don't know. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all think about the song. I also have the link to the song in the description box. Y'all check it out and tell me what y'all think when it comes to that song. Moving on. Now let's move on to De'Aaron Ken. Now I don't know if it was this year or last year that they were supposed to get married. And due to the pandemic, they weren't able to actually have their wedding. But De'Aaron expressed in the past that as soon as they have their wedding, they were going to have kids but due to the pandemic a lot of things haven't been going as planned but the era is consistent when it comes to children she wants to still have children she actually posted up to our social media she said i'll legit be 25 this year i need to go ahead and have my triplets asap while it's free to give birth on my mama's insurance now you had a lot of good feedback when it came to that situation a lot of people want them to start their family but at the same time there were some people that was a little skeptical because of the situation that just occurred so i don't know y'all leave your comments down below do y'all think this is the best time for De'Ara and Ken to have kids? Knowing the situation that they just dealt with less than, what, two months ago? Is this the time for De'Ara to get you know, have kids. Or should she wait until they get married and then have kids? Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that situation. But let's talk about Lauren. Because in my previous video, I told y'all that Joelle cheated on her. And a lot of people, including myself, didn't think that she would leave. But she recently posted up a video and said that she got her own place. Even though they bought a house together, she now moved out and now she has her own place and she's living with her children by herself without Joelle. Which is good for her. I'm glad that she stepped up and decided to take charge of her own life instead of sitting there taking a lot of stuff that he was doing. If you continue to stay in a situation where you know a person is not changing and they know you're not gonna leave, they're gonna continue doing what they're doing. So I'm glad she decided to move. I am sad for her because she just had a newborn and this is not like really the right time to like up and leave. But she's still in Houston. She doesn't live that far away from Joelle, but she just has her own place. So while I was editing this video, Lauren posted to her social media. She said, y'all, I really hate to do this, but it needs to be known. This is Joelle's new girlfriend. They've been having Roy and hanging out for weeks now. I even tried to message her woman to woman. She doesn't want to hear it. Y'all women need to do better. Us women supposed to look out for each other, not ruin each other's females, marriages, and relationships. Listen, this woman wants what you have. And if Joelle is willing to give it to her, she doesn't care what you think or anybody else thinks. So you posting her up to your social media trying to expose her, that doesn't bother her because at the end of the day, she's getting what she wants. Now let's talk about Bad Girl 7 DDG signed zooted member who was recently called out after not allowing her son to choose a pink princess cup. Now in the video, she expressed that he's a boy and he should have a boy cup. Now supporters commented and said, the same way you allowed to like skateboard and be kind of like a tomboy, like you said in the past, is the same way I personally don't see anything wrong with the little boy wanting a pink princess cup. And she responded back, you know when I decided that? When I was 12, 13, old enough to make my own decisions. So you're endorsing stereotype on your child and not letting them play with what they choose. Nobody is sensitive. This is just reiterating toxic gender norms that have suppressed millions. No, y'all are sensitive. A cup can't make him gay. 
But we have blue baby showers and pink baby showers for a reason. He's a boy. He doesn't need a cup with a princess. What would be the point? So a lot of people had an issue with her telling her son no to a princess cup. But y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Do you think it's a problem with a boy walking around with a princess cup?